booktube. Okay, so today I'm gonna do a bit of a birthday slash September haul. Um, I know I didn't upload last week, but I've been crazy busy with college um, apps and all sorts of work. So I am back though uh, this week, and I know it's um, Monday, so it's not technically the weekend, and I'm a little late, but for me it's the weekend because I have the day off. So I'm here to do a haul. Um, these, I was gifted a lot of these, I bought a lot of these with gift cards, um, and then I also have my book club books, so, let's chat. Um, first, I have, um, another Vonnegut book. This is, um, Womp Eaters, Foma, and Grand Balloons, which are various concepts from, um, his novels. Um, I think Foma and Grand Balloons are both from, um, Cat's Cradle. And I don't know what Warm Feeders is from, I can't remember. But anyway, um, it, it is an act, I think it's a short story collection. I don't even know. But the thing is with Vonnegut, I don't care as long as it's Vonnegut. So, um, also if you haven't seen my Vonnegut collection video, go this way, go watch it. Um, I have, I think, 16 now. Um, and that's changed since I last film that video but also I'm sorry for like all the spots on my face but there's leaves and the sun setting so it looks weird um anyway that's that um next I have um these two which I'll do together um the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest by Stieg Larsson these are the next books I hate that they're different editions but um this one's kind of cool looking but this is gross um but these are the next books in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. Um, I read the first one and I didn't love it, but I think that's because I read it on audiobook. So I wanted to get these ones um, in real book form so that I can read them. Um, so I'm excited about these. If you've read them, let me know if you liked them. I've only heard good things about them, so I'm excited. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, and then I have another Vonnegut book because your girl likes Vonnegut. Um, this is J.L. Bird. Um, this is a novel. I don't know what it's about at all, but I don't care. Um, again, because it's Vonnegut. I like the color scheme on this one, too, because it's the blues and the reds. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped about this. I bought this online because my bookstore... I read all of the Vonnegut books that my bookstore sells, um, at least in these editions. They have some other ones, too, but I refuse to buy them unless they look like this. Because the continuity of my shelves. Like, I don't want to screw it up. Okay. Anyway, um, next I bought This Is How You Lose Her. Um, this I got with a birthday gift card um, to my favorite bookstore. I got, I got three gift cards to my favorite bookstore, which is an independent bookstore. And, like, they're taking all the money. Um, okay. But with, which is good because they're an independent bookstore. Um, so this is um, by Juno Diaz. I've read, I think, two of his other books. Um, I think this is a short story collection. And he's so interesting. Um, he's from the DR, and um, he's an American um, citizen, though. But um, he writes a lot about, like, the culture of the DR and, like, what it's like to be an immigrant. And his voice is really great. Like, I love his writing style. Some people don't like it, so I will say that. But I'm a big fan, so I'm excited about this. Um, yeah, this haul is mostly authors I've read, but I just am excited to buy more books by them, so... Um, okay, this one I think is beautiful. This is um, The Night of, of the Iguana by Tennessee Williams, which is a play. Um, he wrote um, A Streetcar Named Desire and The Glass Menagerie, which I loved. And I've talked about those before, so if you haven't seen that, go watch me talk about that. Um, but yeah, I thought this was just beautiful. It's not going to go with my other editions, but it's gorgeous, so I don't care. <laughs> So I'm excited about that. And he's one of the few playwrights that I really love to read the plays. Um, I haven't actually seen any of his plays, but... Oh, well, I saw the Streetcar Named Desire movie, but it's not the same. Um, okay, and then next I got something I'm super excited about. This is The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, there's someone who on BookTube who talks about James Baldwin all the time. And I can't remember their name, but I'll link their channel below. Um... And it's, I think it's an, it, um, talks about his early life in, in Harlem, and it's two letters, 
written on the occasion of the centennial of the Emancipation Proclamation. So it's talking about race in America. Um, but I love his writing. I love Giovanni's Room. I read that um, over the summer. So super pumped about this. Um, okay, next I have something that's a little different. Um, this was given to me for my birthday. Um, it's called In the Realms of the Unreal. Um, insane writings. Um, and I think, so there are collections of short stories by various authors, I think, but, um, and letters and different random things. Um, but the introduction was by Vonnegut. And so my friend saw this and thought of me, um, cause I love Kurt Vonnegut. Go watch that video, dude. If you haven't seen that, you're missing out cause I have a lot of books by him. Um, okay, and then I have two graphic novels. Um, so we've got um, Les Calcumets uh, de Ceres. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Um, this is, it looks like a Christmas graphic novel. Um, I'll show you the inside, but my mom got this for me at a French conference. She doesn't speak French, but I do, and her job has to do with lots of language things because she works at a dual immersion school so she found some cool french things for me so i'm excited to read that i'm probably gonna save it for like christmas time but yeah and then this one i'm so excited about so this is um lille noir um by Hergé. uh it's uh the adventures of tintin um if you haven't heard of tintin you're i don't know what's wrong with you but um yeah it's a graphic novel series originally written in french but they've been super super popular in america also um the comics look like this um it's mostly like uh tintin and his dog snowy um just like going on adventures and stuff and it's so fun and my dad used to read them to me um when i was little not in french but in english um and so i'm super excited to actually get to read it in the original french will be really really cool um, and it's hardcover and it's so pretty and nice, so I'm super excited about this. Um, and then, let's see, next I've got my book club books. Um, so I have The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. I, um, so I, <laughs> this one's a funny one. I tried to read it and I was kind of into it in the beginning and then I gave up. Um, my book club didn't like it very much so I decided not to finish it. Um, I think one person out of, like, seven liked it, so, I don't know. I wouldn't say completely not to read it, but I wasn't a big fan. Um, it's about a cul-de-sac and all these, uh, people that hate each other within the cul-de-sac, and there's rumors, and things happen, and someone disappears, and it's like, ah, which sounds really cool, but then you just hate all the characters, so it kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, so that's that not finishing that I'm gonna give that away um and then this one do I have the yeah. here's the jacket I'm reading it right now it's where the crowd ads sing which I am loving um by uh Delia Owens I don't know if I said her first name right um it's so so good it's about a girl who lives in the marsh in North Carolina and her family kind of um like, all of her family members end up leaving, so she lives alone in the marsh and has to survive on her own and doesn't learn to read until she's, like, 15. Um, and it's so well written. Like, it's so beautiful um, and sad and gorgeous, and I'm so happy. I love it so much. Um, but, yeah, so those are all the books that I hauled in September. Um... I'm trying to look to make sure I didn't miss any, but, um, I'm gonna do a wrap-up for September. It's gonna be pretty short, because I've been in a bit of a slump again, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you.